What's up everyone, Takedown here. Today I'm going to be ranking custom cars. Let's get right into this. Okay, so as you guys know, I am a car guy. I really love going to car shows and seeing all the different custom vehicles and the classics. And throughout the years, I've been taking a lot of pictures at these car shows. So today I decided I'm going to go through a few of them and I'm going to basically rank all of these custom cars for this video and kind of talking about them and what I like and what I don't like of each customized vehicle along the way. These are car shows that I've actually been to and the pictures are cars that I've actually seen in person. So let's just get right into this. Up first is this nice truck. I want to say it's a 1970s. It honestly looks really nice. Actually, it might be an 80s. I can't really tell. Uh, I like the paint job, the nice blue, the interior you can't really tell but it looks kind of black i love i like that as the cap on the back of the truck the grill it looks nice it looks clean it looks crisp that's something that i would like if i were to own a vehicle like this if i were to own this truck i would like a grill like that because i honestly am a fan of them and i like how everything kind of lines up it looks awesome the engine bay looks sick so i'm gonna give this one a solid eight out of ten it just looks all together and it looks like a perfect truck I honestly think it looks perfect in that color as well. Next up is this kind of like a copper truck. Uh, it is a nice Ford. It honestly goes all good together. I can't really tell with the back if it's a white, uh, kind of like a, a cloth or vinyl cover with it, or if that's just the interior of the truck bed. So I can't tell if it's an actual cover or not. The rims look nice with the chrome, but also with the same color matching the vehicle uh, around it. I think that's a nice added touch to it. It looks like a nice customized paint job. I do like that it's like a copper in a way. So it is a custom paint job. It has custom features to it, but it is a nice classic truck. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 just because I do like this era of trucks, but I kind of wanted a little bit more out of it. The color looks nice, but I would have wanted something that was a little bit more of a wow factor. This is a nice truck. This is perfect. I believe it is a Chevy. Um, I like the two-tone. I like the white and the orange. It looks awesome. It kind of goes good together and it follows the uh, body lines of the truck. I like everything about this. I like the chrome front bumper. I like the headlights. I think that's just the generics of the truck for this model itself. I think everything looks good about it. I like a lot of these trucks. It looks maybe possibly a little bit lower than stock. Uh, the rims you can't really get a good look at, but they kind of look like wire spoked wet rims, so it looks nice. Black interior. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 as well, just like the first truck. It looks all together. It's pretty solid, and everything kind of flows together for it, so I like that. Next up is a PT Cruiser. Uh, it is a customized one, so I will give it that. It has a nice patina paint job to it, but for a PT Cruiser, it doesn't make too much sense. I do like it. I like the paint job itself, but on a PT Cruiser, not so much. If it was on an older vehicle, an older truck or something like that, or a rat rod, it would look phenomenal because it's kind of like a greenish uh, with the patina, with the old rustic look. It looks awesome. The front bumper, or sorry, the front grille, it looks a little odd. It does look custom. It does fit this vehicle nice, but it does look odd for me at least. The rims... Are pretty big rims um, they kind of go good with the era of a PT cruiser but with the kind of look that they're going for which looks like a 40s chopped rustic look of a vehicle but for a PT cruiser they don't really flow with what I think they're going for here and of course it is a chopped roof which I honestly like chopped roof vehicles if they're done right this one looks all nice it looks all nice and neat it looks all symmetrical so it looks like it was done right However, it does look odd because it is a PT Cruiser. Now, everything about it, the customizations, the front grille, the paint job itself, I do like, just not on a PT Cruiser. I'm still going to rank this pretty decent. I'm going to rank this 6 out of 10, but I would have uh, liked a couple more different things or would have liked it done a different way, possibly. Next up, this truck actually looks nice. This looks clean and crisp. I like that it is kind of looks like a customized hood. I can't really tell if that's a stock hood or not. It looks nice with the kind of like a silver and the orange two-tone paint. This is pretty stock other than the license plates. 
Uh, the front grille looks stock, the front bumper, the rims kind of look stock, you can't really tell. Of course, the windows are tinted, so you can't see inside it. It looks pretty stock. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10, just because of how much stock it is, but I do like the paint job, and it does look like a nice, clean truck. This is what I'm talking about, this one here. This is basically a chopped, rustic look. It looks like they're trying to go with, like, a rat rod without doing a real rat rod because i think rat rods are in my eyes more of a customized look you can basically customize it however you want and throw things together as long as it works and call it your own and usually they're all originals so this looks nice kind of looks like a rat rod look with the rustic patina paint job on it with the gray and it's just kind of looking rusty um looks nice I like that it's lowered, it looks phenomenal, I like that it's a chopped top. The rims look kind of out there for it, so they do fit the style, but for a rat rod, I wouldn't have expected rims like that. The front grille kind of looks customized, I can't really tell. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 just because of how much work they did, and because the hood looks phenomenal, I like that they have it levered a different way than what you'd expect it to be. So it looks pretty solid. This is... An awesome Camaro. I do like this. It looks like a stock everything. The silver actually goes good with this. I like poppy vehicles where it's just like a huge wow factor to it. But for this one here, it looks very simple. It looks very clean, crisp. It does have a custom hood on it. The rims look stock. If not, they're just like a chrome version of the stock style of rims. Nothing really out of the world with this one. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. It does look phenomenal. I would personally own this and drive this because it looks great. However, it's not really too much of a wow factor for me. Now, this is a Nether Camaro, a different version. It looks kind of like a 69, maybe a 70s Camaro. This does look nice. I like the Camaro paint job with the racing stripes on it. It looks nice. The rims look nice. The engine bay looks nice. I like how some have the hood popped and some don't. Uh, the stock looks, or sorry, the interior looks like a stock leather interior. The paint job, the orange, it looks nice. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. It just looks all together perfect and it, it looks amazing to me. Next is a Chevelle SS, which as you guys know, if you guys watched other videos where I'm talking about cars on my channel, I like Chevelles. I think they're awesome. This here, I can't really tell if it is one with racing stripes on it. I don't believe it is because just above the front grille doesn't show anything on the paint there, but it does look nice. It can't really tell if it's a vinyl roof or if it's a painted roof. I would prefer if this was a vinyl white roof instead of painted. It just wouldn't look right if it was just painted, but the blue looks nice. I like that it's mostly all stock. The inside of the engine bay looks all clean with the chrome. It looks all high performance, which I like. I'm going to give this one because I like Chevelle's an 8.5 out of 10. Next is a Challenger. Now this one you can tell it is a black vinyl roof, which I do like. Um, it looks all together. I like that it is kind of like a deep purple paint job, which I like. That is a nice Mopar paint job for me. The rims look nice. The engine bay, you can't really tell with this angle. With the lighting of if it's chrome or if it's just stock, it might just be painted black. You can't really tell. But this looks nice. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have a... Nice Mustang. I do like this version of the Mustangs. I believe it is a 64 and a half. I might be wrong. Comment down below. But honestly, I feel like the rims, they fit the vehicle. They do look nice for this era of Mustang. However, I don't like how they just look like a matte, light gray paint job. I kind of wish they were either chromed or maybe a different color. But I do like the style of them. I just don't like the color of them on this vehicle. I do like the paint job. It is a nice blue. It honestly looks phenomenal. I like the convertible Mustangs for 65, 64 and a half, sorry. Um, I like the racing stripes. It fits the air of the Mustang. It looks all stock. It looks all complete. I like the interior. It's kind of like a light blue. Not really a baby blue, but kind of like a lighter blue. Almost the color of the paint job. Uh, leather interior, so it looks nice. I'm going to give this one... Geez, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say 8.5 out of 10 just because it looks really nice. It's a clean, crisp Mustang. And next up, I'm gonna say this is gonna be the last one for this video because I don't really want a really long video. And yes, there's a guy eating an ice cream cone in the background, but we're gonna ignore that for a second here. It is a nice 
rat rod it, i believe i've seen this one in person i believe it is a rat rod tow truck you can't really see from this angle of the picture that i took but if you look at the back how all of the metal is it's all rusty it all looks kind of flows together but i believe that is the tow truck version now i'm not sure if this can tow a real vehicle or if it's just there for show i believe in the past they have towed um like a volkswagen beetle a volkswagen bug but that's something that's really light that's a small vehicle so i think that's the max that it can tow but this is a nice vehicle seeing it in person you can honestly respect it a lot more. The rims, I do like that they are red, but I would have liked them to be a little more rusty looking, but they do look phenomenal like that. Everything, like I said earlier, with rat rods, the reason why I like them and a lot of people like them is you can really customize them the way that you want. This here, parts of it honestly don't really look like an automotive vehicle. The cab where you sit, where the steering wheel is, that kind of, to me, looks like it could be a tractor. It doesn't look like a 30s uh, Ford or anything like that. It just looks really square and complete. It doesn't really have a flow of a vehicle unless it's a really old vehicle. But it still looks good together. The hood looks like it was customized out of sheet metal. It doesn't look like it's been off of an actual vehicle or if it was it was really chopped just to have everything flow that is coming out of it the pipes and that that you can see the headlights look newer than anything on this to be honest with you it looks like they were purchased and put on the vehicle and they're supposed to look like an older vehicle era headlight but they kind of look new it's really shiny everything else is really rusty and old i like the little toolbox next to the driver's door there that looks nice it's just like a nice feature added on to the tow truck honestly everything about this it looks nice i like rat rods it is a kind of functioning tow truck because i've seen this in person but i think the max like i said is a volkswagen beetle i think that's the max that it can tow and i i believe the rest is just for show i'm gonna rank this one i don't want to rank it higher than everything but i'm gonna rank it nine out of ten because i really like rat rods they are basically you can show off your creativity more with a rat rod than anything else because you can just put random stuff on it and it looks original as long as it all flows and this flows. It's a nice vehicle. I don't see many tow truck rat rods, so I'm definitely going to say it is, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. But this is all I'm going to do for this video here for ranking car, uh, sorry, custom cars. But this is definitely something I think we're going to do in the future because it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy going to car shows and taking pictures. And this is just from the vault of pictures I've taken over the possibly last five years. And this is only, I think, 12 vehicles that I went and ranked. So there's definitely, definitely going to be more to come because I have a lot of pictures. If I had to guess, I want to say I have 500 pictures. I'm not going to show them all in videos. I'm not going to do that many videos of it and just go through all of the pictures I've ever taken. But I'm definitely going to try my best to pick out the best ones like I did for this video and kind of share, talk about them, show you guys the vehicles. So comment down below, out of all the cars that I shared in this video, which one do you like the most? Hope you guys did enjoy. There's going to be more videos like this coming in the future, but I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.